What's up? How are you guys today? We're gonna do a quick what I eat in the day day of eating and I can't remember the last time I was this sick, although I'm still not really that sick because uh, usually whenever I feel something in my nose or throat, I just do like an iodine rinse and it almost immediately goes away. Uh, but I did that a few times over the past few days and uh, still feeling kind of crappy. Uh, just real, I just woke up really fatigued this morning, probably partially because I didn't uh, eat anything last night for dinner because I was tired. I just wanted to go straight to bed. So hopefully feel a little bit better after we eat. But because of that, the show must still go on. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of what I've been doing. Uh, starting with something new, which doesn't look new because you guys have seen me eat pancakes before, but uh, I put collagen broth in here. So they're technically like collagen pancakes. Uh, kind of like how you would put milk in pancakes, except this is the, the collagen broth from Frankie's Strange Meat, which it's kind of a neutral flavor because we don't really put meat in there. It's just bones and cartilage. So I'll put like two or three tablespoons of the collagen broth in the pancake batter so that I get my protein and I don't have to, to have anything else. I tried it with collagen powder, but it doesn't really turn out that well. Kind of weird with the collagen powder, but the, the broth works really well. So I've been having this. The pancakes are a little dense, but still tasty, still pretty good. And you're getting your protein, carbs, and fats, everything all in one without having to make anything else. Uh, we got some water kefir grains and some water kefir, which are especially important for when you're sick to to repopulate the, the good microbiome in both your stomach and your nasal cavity and everything. I forgot to bring home some apples. Uh, so we just have some organic raisins I had sitting in my cabinet. And then supplement wise, we're doing vitamin D3 and then the usual vitamin B1, zinc and molybdenum. Uh, those last three are to counteract the copper imbalance. Uh, probably take a little masticum too, maybe some charcoal. But uh, the reason we're taking vitamin D is because we were taking a lot of magnesium to detox the copper and magnesium is required to detox copper. And then the magnesium depleted the calcium. So we had to take a lot of calcium to, to balance out that. And then your body can't metabolize calcium without vitamin D. So it kind of goes full circle. I wasn't really sleeping until I started taking the vitamin D, uh, but I still try to be careful with stuff because I'm a little sensitive. So I'll just show you guys real quick. Before the meal, I'll take two tablespoons of water, key for grains. So water kefir has around 30 billion CFU per cup and the water kefir grains are just much more concentrated in probiotics, but it's like a, a volume thing because when you drink the liquid, it's dispersed throughout all the food in the digestive system. But if you're just having uh, some kefir grains, if you have enough of them, like the stomach will churn and evenly distribute the kefir grains throughout the, the meal, but you know, you kind of have to eat so many of them, but I'm just going to have some maple syrup on my pancakes, we'll eat, uh, take the supplements about halfway through the meal, finish off the meal with some masticum and charcoal, and uh, go down to work, even though I want to lay down, holy crap. Yeah, it's just like, it's just that like fatigue you get when you like get up out of bed, and you think you're going to feel better, but you just want to go lay back down. But we got to, I should have been at work three hours ago. Now, yeah, there's a million things that could have gotten me sick, perhaps being in a tight enclosed space with minimal ventilation with like how many hundred jab people like, yeah, that's an issue on a plane or like even just the air quality in my warehouse right now, we got to get the ventilation fixed. So that could be it too. So who knows? You guys hear that? Today is not my day. I got my car back from the mechanic yesterday and my back left tire is completely flat. So between last night when I got home and now the air all emptied out. There's a there's a garage actually close to me, so I'm just I'm rolling this rolling this down the street to this shop, see if this guy can help me. Um, I could I don't want to change the fucking flat, dude. I'm too tired to do that shit. I mean I have a jack and I could just do it, but it's probably easier to see what this guy can do. Uh, you know what, I should have actually went home and grabbed my fucking winter tire. Put the one winter tire on, but I don't think that matters because I gotta get a new tire anyway. I think ASAP. Yeah, like yeah, that's so 
helpful. I don't even know if I should have drove it that far. Probably less than a minute. Bro, it's been like an hour and a half. I don't think I'm gonna get to work on time. This guy's like all well become, but he's like older, he's not 100%. So, like, we're, we're, tire had a flat from a nail. We, we took it off the hubcap and now we're fixing it. Bro, I must be in some type of purgatory today. It's 3.45, my guys leave at four, so I'm not getting any orders out today because I couldn't get over there to print them. I left my house at 12.45, so it took, it took three hours to take off and mount the flat tire. Like the guy had everything and knew what he was doing, but he wasn't like 100% some Alzheimer's or something, so between like every single step, he literally would walk around 15 minutes to find the tool so I would say it shouldn't have taken more than half an hour but I was there for three hours coughing my lungs out head hurts migraine like any other day it would have been fine but arguably I could have I just don't I didn't really feel like I had the energy to put the the spare on myself so I thought this guy could just do it real quick but that was that was not fun that was not fun. Bro, this guy had a dog that was like between between the the mechanic grease and the dog jumping all over me. I need to go home and take a shower. But we'll drive down to work first. I think we're gonna get there right when my guys are leaving, so I'm just gonna print out the orders for tomorrow and make sure this doesn't happen again. Nice guy, sweet, but I think if I left my car there for him to do any work to it. Probably get it back in about a week. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. God help me. I wanted 20, I gave him 100. I would pay myself 100 all day for that. I'm actually fucking dying, bro. I'm dying. Oh my god. I honestly, it might really be like they spray so much crap in the air in these northeastern high population states. I feel like I haven't been able to breathe for, unless I have like the AC on and all the filters running in my house. I feel like I can't even breathe the air. It's bad. But today, when like I have the other factors compounding it, I feel like dying. I don't think I've ever been sick in front of you guys before. Hey, I guess it works out, right? I'm staying here late to print these orders and the delivery came after my guys left, so. Sometimes things work out. Honestly, just like a really bad turn of events. Like me being sick, I already felt horrible just going to work in general. Yet having to sit in the heat for three hours, I only ate half of those pancakes and I had so much water kefir, which means the histamine content was high and there's like a lot of gut bacteria in my stomach that needs to get fed soon. But since, you know, it's five o'clock now and all I have is half a breakfast, uh, I started like getting headaches and not feeling so good. So keep in mind, if you do have that much water kefir and water kefir brains for breakfast, you got to eat a lot, a big meal for breakfast, or I just get home fast and eat lunch, which I wanted to do. I wanted to have some rice and steak, but you guys probably know, like, sometimes when you get sick, you're, like, nauseous, and you don't feel like eating, so we're just going to do a liver detox smoothie in, um, in Fuji water for low mineral. Got the Frankie's liver detox smoothie, and I'm going to eat a few, uh, I'm going to eat some apples just to have, like, some solid food in my stomach. So we'll have some apples, we'll drink the smoothie, and I'll have some masticum and some B vitamins and then lay down a few hours to feel better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm still alive somehow. Yeah, again, I don't know. Last time I've ever been this sick. I uh, did a few more iodine races, feel a little better. Headache went away for the most part, but we got a uh, big bowl of udon noodles here with some roast beef. We got uh, white bean puree, beef stock, and demi glace as the sauce on the noodles. So it's basically just like minimally inflammatory pasta with some fiber that I can have. Uh, normally for my second meal, I'll, I'll, I'll have steak and rice, or uh, if I'm not too lazy, I'll make like tortillas with white bean puree and steak, which is I feel much better on, but Sometimes, like, I have issues with sleeping with the rice, and the rice doesn't agree with my stomach too much because I'm too lazy to, like, have some 
beans or something with it. So I just decided instead of having the, the steak and the rice, I'm just gonna do a big bowl of udon noodles for dinner and then maybe that'll be the last meal for today. So I'm just gonna take some, uh, some masticum, molybdenum, zinc, and B1, all the typical things I've been taking for the copper toxicity. The water kefir depends on how I feel. Like since I overdid it for breakfast and we had a bad headache at lunchtime, I decided not to do it. So for dinner here, I don't, I'm not gonna do it again either. I think I lost my sense of taste. But uh, I'm gonna sit here and eat as much of this as I can. And um, I'll have some apples, some masticum charcoal, and then uh, probably go to bed and relax. But uh, I guess thank you guys for joining me for the day of eating. Not what I was hoping for or I anticipated. But uh, I don't really know if I'll necessarily feel better tomorrow to film something different. So if you guys go to frankdashafon.com, we have a lot of the stuff in this video for you guys. Uh, the collagen broth and the pancakes for breakfast, as well as the pancake mix and the oats. All that stuff is on the meat website and the foods website. We have the detox smoothie when we got back from lunch, which is uh, on organsupplements.com, as well as most of these other supplements. And uh, <clears throat> everything else. Demi-Gloss new product, beef stock concentrate, all that stuff is on uh, on the me website as well if you guys want to try any of this out. And of course, our, our glass jarred honey crisp apples are available on the foods website. But that'll be it. So I'll see you guys for the next video.